this is the room as you can see it's pretty dark in here because obviously the curtains are somewhat drawn a little bit and the ac is on so if i want to open the windows the ac has to be off i would say this is probably one of my favorite rooms that i've stayed in probably in paris even though i really love that hotel oh, i love hotel de castignol because of the location but i would say i love this color like this is my vibe you know the molding it's just very simple i love simplistic thing and it's like the color palette is my palette and this is a bathroom the bathroom is decent in my opinion yes and the staff here is incredible guys like when i tell you the staff is incredible like this is probably one of the best service that i've had and yeah i love this so far um, I wish we had a private toilet because I've just been so spoiled now with the private toilet. <laughs> now I'm just like... <laughs> and of course, flawless mirror. Thank you very much. And then... And then this is sort of the closet. Pretty basic. Um, but my only problem is just like... I hate when I'm traveling and I have to move back and forth. We pack and packing again. That is what it is, you know because to me it's just like so much stress having to pack and repack and do all of that it's just so much easier for me to just um, stay in one place organize my stuff i think that's what it is i'm just like i just want to like you know get my closet done and get ready and do all of that but i can't do all of that because you know in four days you know well i'm here for five days four nights wow i look so tiny in this mirror this mirror is actually doing it like even my boobs look tinier in here but um and then you've got an extra chair here and then chair her guest well, yeah the concierge is actually quite nice but enough talking now i really love the bedroom very simple very cute right, so i think somebody's texting me or calling me let's see who that is Famous cafe, the floor. I've never been, I need to go. Alright, guys, I am at the restaurant. It's called Sugir Tapas. Um, I'm not much of a tapas person, if I'm honest with you, but you never know. Like, you know, you can always become something, right? So, I'm actually, I'm very excited. So, I'm sat outside and it's a little bit chilly, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm very happy with my makeup the way it turned out. I'm trying to do no makeup makeup and it still turned out it's just like even though i was trying to do a no makeup makeup the minute i put on my lip it just turned into something else like look at this <laughs> all right let's wait for my colleagues and see how it is from dinner yeah i feel like before dinner this outfit looks kind of cute and now it's just like ugh. it's just like guys how did we end up back here like how it just doesn't make any sense to me oh it's so freaking annoying but one thing that i don't like about my scarf it does leave lint all over the place i forgot my lint roller i tried everything not to forget the lint roller and i believe i did but now i am ready to just get undress let's remove this makeup maybe i can remove my makeup with you guys i never actually do because i prefer removing my makeup in the shower so that's why i don't do it with you but i just realized today this was a cleanser to remove your makeup not a not like a face washing washing cleanser let's go move my makeup i can do it in the sink actually this would actually be more comfortable to do it but I don't want to do that because it just gets splashes all over the world and we don't want that, right? No. Let's get undressed to go to bed. guys. Happy Tuesday. I've finally gotten ready and it's 2.37. Today's a late day for me because guess what? I got my period today. So it's just like, it's a very, very slow day. On the first day, I try to give myself some grace and just really not worry about, you know, things. So I popped on this um frankie shop dress probably my favorite dress that i bought on vacation i've already worn it like five times 
in no makeup today maybe i'll do makeup tonight because tonight is last night for my old colleagues so i'm probably gonna meet them for dinner we'll see if i end up going i don't know so far i'm already feeling like i may not want to go but i just feel like it would be so fun seeing them you know for the last time i don't know when am i gonna see them again yeah so this is the outfit and i'm just not in the mood i'm just gonna walk outside i think there's like a little cafe downstairs um i'm gonna go to to have some lunch because i'm starving in the train all the time and uh, I got my change plus I got my receipt let's go Before I came down here, I think coffee to go at Paul. Paul is one of my original French bakery that was available in DC. We didn't have one in New York. I don't know if we still have one in New York, honestly. Um, so I found Paul in DC, and since then I found. I am back at Colibri today. I was gonna get something to eat because the food over there wasn't good. I was like, oh, I'll do another cook here, but the guy here is so good today. And I was just like, I'm not gonna pay my money. Usually the girl and the other guy are so nice, but today he's the only one here and it's just like, yeah, he's just pissing off everyone. So instead, I'm gonna walk to Prata Manger, get a juice a sandwich and then I'll put a Uber to the hotel because I'm feeling a little crampy and I'm very upset that I didn't take my inositol with me it's like what was I thinking and I'll make some make tea when I get to the hotel too. guys I was supposed to have the most wonderful dinner with my colleagues um I mean now friends really and now I'm stuck in a hotel room even though I'm feeling much better now oh shoot I forgot my tea I am feeling much better, but I'm really like having time in Paris. I just feel like I'm home. But it doesn't feel like I'm on vacation to me. I just feel like I'm just chilling in my apartment. It's quite nice. And I just ordered five guys. I ordered a burger. I found some chamomile in the thing. I made some chamomile tea, which I forgot. Now that I'm a tea drinker, at night time, I enjoy having mint tea because mint tea is so soothing for your stomach. I didn't realize, especially if you are a bloody girly like myself, the way it soothes your stomach and also make you sleep. Like whenever I drink mint tea, it's like the best sleep. I sleep so well. Guys, I've got my order here. So let's actually see what this burger looks like. And it smells incredible. So let's actually see if it tastes good. It's okay. The fries is basic enough. Good morning, guys. Bonjour, I should say. I'm just gonna go downstairs for a coffee, a croissant, and some orange juice. I'm gonna come back here and start to get ready. So this little set is from Frankie's shop. I, I wish I also had the white. I'm gonna check to see. It's like a cute little set to just like wear. I do like it. This little tank, it's from Brandy Melville. Let's go for coffee. Of course, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. You are going to go in my pocket right about. All right, guys, this is our breakfast situation. There's more pastries that I want to try, but for now, this is good. Uh, I'm going to have to get an Americana also, but I always need an espresso first because I need strong coffee. 
shouldn't have been drinking coffee, but who's gonna stop me? Right? But let's let's do this. Mmm. I'm gonna need another one. Even though I'm gonna get dressed for lunch. Alright guys, we didn't make it on time for lunch. Um, it does close at 2. It's 1.40. As you can see, the chairs are already drawn in. They're already inside. So I miss... This is it. This is really good. But it opens at like from noon until I guess 1.30. <laughs> because i mean it's already closed but now i have to like find another spot to see if i can have my steak fruit that makes me really sad now i came all this way i will try again another day but i was really really excited for that but we'll see beef with the wind it's like one minute it is windy af i don't know i couldn't live in a city that was known for being windy like it's just too much i cannot stand the wind yes i got beef with the wind the place is closed so i am going to attempt to go to to avenue and see how it is guys i finally made it at la avenue to see all what the hype is about I got the macaroni meal. Wow, this is delicious. I had no hope. I also got french fries because, you know, I have to satisfy with the french fries. But this is delicious. So I am glad I finally got to try out the famous Lavenue restaurant. Was it? Overrated, I wouldn't say it. And my bill was a hundred dollars for what I ordered last time I was here. My friend Julia and I we ate here. The food was actually really good. I had this pasta, it was quite delicious. But now I am walking back to my hotel, guys. My door is always like you know acting crazy, it's not working. And I saw that I, I've never left my hair down since I've actually gotten my hair done. I always have it in the little, you know, chunk like over here. Or I have the two thing on the side and the little thing on the back. But today I thought why not just leave it out like this. But uh, let's go back to waiting. Lavenue. The food was actually quite good. I mean, that pasta was probably one of the best pastas that I've had. I, the yellowtail was actually really good as well. But it was pretty good. The fries were amazing i wish you a little bit i wish you a little bit hotter but they were like slightly cold um but i love how skinny they were because every time i've had fries now they're like so chunky and i'm like give me some skinny fries oh this is what my room looks like when we have sunlight aha okay you see because i haven't spent an afternoon here so i didn't know what it looks like oh here we go here we go but this is still pretty good uh-huh but yeah the food at lavenue was pretty good i feel like this is the perfect place for you guys to just say go have lunch and then go shop because all the shops are there literally all the shops all the designers are there they have an ally as well that just opened that's it now um i intended on going to musee rodin i think i'm gonna leave it for tomorrow morning i'll see if i can wake up early go to the musee rodin because i love it early in the morning i have lunch with uh, Sarah, I can't wait to see her tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday, right? No, tomorrow's Thursday already? My goodness, how? I'm gonna put you guys to charge, but I'm just gonna relax here for a little bit and enjoy the room. I've actually enjoyed this room quite a lot. This is one of the first time where I'm actually like really enjoying the place and not out all the time, but that's it. All right, guys, ready for dinner. I tried on so many outfits, it didn't work out, so I put this on because again, I'm feeling so bloated right now. I'm just not feeling that myself. You know, it's that time of the month. I just feel disgusting. Like It's just like, ugh, it's just not a good time. So I just popped this little number on. I know my boobs looks a little bit more on camera, but it doesn't look that, you know, on camera. It just looks more tame in person, but for some reason, that's how it looks on camera. 
I can't I can't help it you know the same way the camera put on 20 pounds is the same thing it does with my boobs it put a lot of emphasis on them even though in real life they are pretty tame they don't really look that crazy but hey it is what it is I'm keeping flats on and then I'm gonna do this cute little bag I got a one because I'm gonna be late I mean we don't have a reservation or anything like that but we're just winging it let's go a little lip combo a little bit you know because I've just been obsessed with this combo okay one side is higher than the other we gotta fix it okay that's more like it and of course i've got to pop um a cashmere sweater just in case if i get cold i could just pop it on let's go that's macaroni with some truffles pork legs well, she's eating it. it's actually sweet. that egg looks amazing i didn't think i tried the wine did i i gotta take a picture of it Alright guys, last night with the crew. Hi, <laughs> it is. Look how stunning is Ember. Look at her new tattoo. It's so stunning. Look at that. Do you see the face? Like how freaking cool. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, I've never seen a and she got do it done before. today in Paris. Yeah. Oh, this is for vlogging. This it. is for YouTube. I love it. I never yeah. Seen a oh, hell yeah. Hi. 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 Jeanette. Hi. Hi. I'm still in it. Hi. Hi. You're so funny. You look so cute yes. today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how much is that? Alright guys, I am back in the house. I am back now and honestly this is one of the best nights that I've had. I feel like I've been saying that a lot on the trip. And you know the crazy part is I had no freaking expectation whatsoever. Oh my goodness, I feel so bloated. Oof. We had two bottles of wines between us. So I need to stop, to stop drinking. It's, it's a lot like I said on this trip I literally had really no expectation and to be reunited with the people that I used to work with and for us to just have, have such a good time tonight I wore my Bottega dupes and this top from Pixie Market whenever I don't know what to wear this is the outfit that I throw on if I am in the city this is about like having the most wonderful night we had dinner at Allard which was so freaking good. It's my open my last day. It feels like it was yesterday. I was checking in this hotel and I felt like I had so many days ahead of me, but I don't. Days look. I feel a little bit wrinkly. And I don't know how I feel about it because these pins are a little bit see-through. So I think we're good. started like in the span of literally two minutes of me getting from the uh, from the rooftop till down here it's raining but I am going to cross the street and I'm gonna go to the gourmet because I want some juice and something which is the place where we just ate it's wonderful you guys saw it highly highly recommend I was gonna say I am back home but 
let's do a little outfit check because we didn't get a chance i don't remember if we had a chance we were like rushing because i didn't have any time um to get to gabby's after yet but i got um i sampled the girl lamp perfumes they have the new one the jasmine bonheur this one smells really nice but as much as i am a hater of rose scent but there was sherry my goodness that one is a winner in my book i i am obsessed with that one i need it um this is my outfit this outfit is j crew cardigan j crew top j crew pants ozawa and um my bag today was atelier auguste i mean it's a french brand so i thought um because also it takes a lot i, I never had issues with open bags but this is paris we're talking about this is not new york um, it's crazy that New York is much safer than like Paris. Here, I feel like I have to kind of always clutching my iPhone with me if I'm on the train. New York, that would never be a problem for me. I'll just be like, you know, so chill about sitting on the street, being on my phone, not paying attention. It's fine. Never worried about like someone's just gonna like grab it out of my hand. But here, you know, that is something to get adjusted to. But hey, it is what it is. But and since today's raining, I wore my old beat up. Hermes sandals. Uh, these are the gold ones. These are the first pair I've ever bought. These are probably like five years old. But it is packing time. It's time for me to start packing and get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow we go to Provence. I think I'm gonna go to that bistro to do another steak. I've been eating a lot of steak over here. It's been very steak heavy because usually I don't really eat steak like that when I am in the US. So I take advantage when I'm like overseas to kind of like eat. And also the chicken here is not really that great. Oh, I might go to the gourmet. I'm gonna see what time the gourmet at Galus Affair closes. If they close a little bit later, I'm gonna go back for the rotisserie chicken because I've never tried rotisserie chicken in France. But honestly, the steak au poivre that we had last night, the pepper steak was so freaking good. I feel like if I don't eat another steak for like the next month, I will be good. That's how good it was. Um, but yeah, but I'm very, very excited to actually go to Provence where all my outfits, I don't know guys, I'm just not in the mood to like create content at all in this trip. Like I am so over content and also I didn't bring my tripod, which was a mistake. Let's get packing and also I haven't opened my laptop since I've gotten here. It's time to start working. It's time to do a little bit of work because my goodness, it's been an entire week it's been over a week since i've worked all right guys this is the little gift that the girlies bought me and this is pierre Hermé. if we don't have this in the u.s i don't think we do this is supposed to be one of the best macaron i think it's supposed to be better than la Durée. but it's like the most fragrant like i open the box i instantly want to shove everything down my throat um that did not come out right but so which one should we start with i'm pretty sure this is the pistache mm, oh my god oh mm, my god wow when i tell you guys this is so good i'm not gonna lie to you i used to love macaron back in the day but i feel like i've eaten so much of it now i cannot really like eat them where like, one is enough for me but these are probably like some of the best macaron i've ever eaten this is incredible wow Yes, this is one of my favorite, of course. Passion, anything with passion food, I am. I can literally eat all of these in one sitting. And I told you guys, I'm macaroned out. It's rose, lychee, raspberry. Obviously, I have to eat that. It has my name written all over it. Like, come on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, not like rose scented perfume or anything. But rose in food, it's like one of my favorite things. I love it in tea. Rose is so fragrant. It smells so incredible. My goodness, there's only two left. But I'm not really hungry. Maybe tonight I'll just skip dinner overall and just go to bed. Guys, my internet is acting up, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take my anger on some food because I haven't eaten. It's little o'clock. Should probably even not eat, but I'm just gonna do it anyways. I'm just gonna like go downstairs and just grab something quick at the bar next door. And this is my outfit, which is like my travel outfit actually. one thing to know a lot of restaurants in paris closes at like 10 it's like guys a view from my window i think this is a bar so it's been dead all week until now but i decided to look at the window and i see people dressed up 
going in oh wow i didn't realize this was a bar yeah oh cute it's called the flower as you can see she's dressed up she's meeting her man she knows a bouncer i don't know i, I don't know maybe the old friends but yeah this is definitely a bar or something and then you've got the security guard you have the oh she must know everybody then well there you have it there you have it hi guys it is exactly 10 a.m and guess what i am all packed my friend should be getting to the gar to the station in um, about 40 minutes and then now i'm just gonna get ready it's gonna take me an hour to get ready and then get out of here we'll have lunch um my train leaves before hers because the ticket situation was crazy i live at 238 she lives at 338 i accidentally bought a ticket for tomorrow not looking my dyslexic ass is just out of control but it's okay yeah as you can see i just have the last minute things here you know like all my makeup and stuff the makeup is gonna be easy because i have to do my makeup first i'm gonna go on live actually and do my makeup with you guys and then i think that's it i'm ready to go i need to get out of here i feel like i've been in paris for way too long now i absolutely love paris but it's like i feel like i feel like a bum like i'm not necessarily working well although yesterday i did take a work meeting but you know what i mean like i feel like a bum and it's like i'm i'm not even doing any activities like i'm literally just like sleeping and waking up and go eat and i'm just like you need to do better i'm not even creating content and i feel like in paris it's a little hard creating content if you do not have someone with you you know because you constantly have to worry about like if someone's gonna come and snatch your stuff like whereas if i'm in new york i never have to worry about that in a way of course i'm looking right and left and center but like i'm never like so like oh you know is someone gonna come and snatch my phone or snatch my camera so those are the things that are like super super annoying it's funny like the more i travel the more i just become more like in love with like america <laughs> as much as i want to move to europe it would be cool to have like you know house here apartment here but honestly i just love i just miss home <laughs> i'm such an american honestly i just kind of miss home maybe when i get to london it will be different but london feels more like home to me well we will see how it goes but let's go get ready because i'm ne not necessarily running out of time but yeah i'm running out of time She's not as crazy as me, um, you know, like waiting last minute and stuff. So that's what happens. <coughs> now I have to train by myself, but it's okay. Though. It gives me some time to do some work because I haven't been working in quite some time. So it's time for me to catch up. Hey guys, made it to Bobo's. We're here taking the S elevator. Made it. It's so windy up here. It's a transition. It's cute. I mean, like, come on. The U.S. could do something like this for to go to all the major cities. Like, it's crazy to me how we can't get like a like a train <laughs> to get us to places. You know, instead of driving when we go on vacation, it would be nice to take a train to go to Rhode Island. You know, all those places. But it is what it is, right? I mean, it's so above us. Oh my god, it feels so dreamy to be here. Well, I mean, not the train station, but. Guys, guess what? When I checked the location for the train to the hotel, I actually checked back the local train, and it says on 11 minutes. Guess what? From the big station here, it's 30 minutes. So I had to take an Uber, so I decided to just wait for Dina, because it makes sense for us to go together and just wait for her. It's like only an hour, and I can chill. And I'm hungry. I haven't even had a croissant all day long like i feel like it's a crime to be in france and not eat a croissant every day like it should be but on another note my no makeup makeup it is doing something like it, like what this is just a chanel water tent that's it all right guys guess who's here <laughs> we made it to full boss we're on the way to the hotel the scenery is quite beautiful but i must say nothing tops the english countryside honestly i mean 
Dina's English, she could tell you. It's N not nothing. It's not. Nothing top as beautiful as France is, honestly, nothing tops the English countryside. Like it's a beautiful scenery though. But I can't wait to get to, to Provence so the beautiful architecture and the history and and the food of course. Alright guys, we're just checking in. It's so cute in here. I love this. This is really cute. Oh my gosh, this is a little pad for the next few days. But this is the Provence view that I've dreamed about. Oh, this is so stunning. I love Provence. Because this is the welcome we get in Provence. Look at this beautiful sunset. Like, and here I am. Like, this is an absolute dream. I am obsessed. I cannot wait to tell you the story about the porn star martini. It did. I was just like, oh, what is happening? Like, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ew, look at us so giddy. <laughs> Bonjour guys, Dina and I were ready to take on Provence and today we're both wearing white dresses. Bonjour guys, this is the market. Like everything smells so good. Like ah oh, everything is so fragrant. But this is it. Let's find the little coffee shop in here. Do you wanna find the coffee shop stall? I mean, that's a card, right? I'm like, do we need cash? I think some of them will. So, I don't know, is we the other market? When Guys, not only did I just saw a Claire, a Claire in Provence, it's like, Ariana, what are you doing here? Now they have a Lush. Oh, I am loving this already. Provence is just, oh, it's just so stunning. Guys, I found it. Her mask. <laughs> oh, we Oh my God! Look at. Yeah, everything looks so good. sat down for brekkie but it is so windy again we were not expecting it to be this windy and we're trying to figure out if it's like normal for it to be this windy because the uh, uber driver told us it wasn't be normal 
I hope not because I don't like the wind. I hate wind. But we are at Cafe Palais, right? Cafe du Palais. And because this is the pancakes I waited 15 minutes for. <laughs> Two bites. It's gone. <laughs> I'm getting a basket bag this one because I feel like this is my little Barbie but I feel like this is really cute a little Provence souvenir Guys, the way they do it, you get a small, but you get like at least four or five flavors, which is pretty good. Love it. We're back at the square where we were last night having dinner. And Dina's online waiting for hers. Guys, I got the food. Look at this. Tiny, perfect. You guys, the night market. Cute little tranklets. Singing in my van with his. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, I heard they're famous for this little calypso. Tonight's dinner. I've got the duck. I really enjoy duck, so I hope this is good. And then I got the cod. That looks really beautiful. And we are at La Boucher. Guys, look, it's Sunday. They have a little market for books. This is pretty cool. Marseille, so, visage. Marseille with a thousand faces. Sweet for Saint Jean. Oh, this is so cute. I want to buy a little book. So I can have it, you know. Maybe on the way back. I wonder what time they close. It's still early, so it'll probably warm up.
guys, back at the market and everything looks so good. Is that the poon? No, no, no. That's figs. I want to buy some poons, you know, to, to help me. To help me go. But look at all the fresh. I mean, look at these tomatoes. Like, look at this beautiful tomato. Bonjour again, guys. I feel really, really cute in this outfit. This is from in other stories and this pharmacy is closed we were back in the square i'm actually looking for acetone for my nails because when you're going on vacation it's best to have your nails be nude and not having to worry about the anxiety oh this is cute what is that this is really cute sorry i'm not paying attention i should be paying attention but I'm not. But I think Monica is over here. I need another coffee because my coffee wasn't that strong. Um, I could use another. I don't remember if I did a little OOTD with me this morning for breakfast but I'm wearing this little and all the story dress which I showed you in my vlog but I went to Monoprix to get acetone to get nail polish remover you guys know me French pharmacy it's my weakness like when I am in there I just want to buy everything it's just so bad but now I'm gonna change I'm gonna go take some photos and a new outfit because I bought Way more outfit. I mean, even though we're gonna go to Lake Annecy, and I still have options, anyways. I think one of my other friends is going to join me. Maybe we'll like go to Italy or something like that. I think I'm gonna do that. But I thought I was gonna see the lavender fields, but um, they sort of harvested them after July 16, which is a little bit early. But hey, it is what it is. You know, another time gonna put like a cap on me to never really buy a basket bag anymore unless it's given to me although I do want the little money one but I think I'm just I've had it honestly with basket bags I got SPF 50 I also got this to like miss my face throughout the day and then this is the acetone I'm gonna remove and then of course I got my favorite oven um, moisturizer and then I got some baby wipes because you always need that all right guys since lavender field is not really happening anymore so I'm gonna you know shoot some photos and this is what I'm wearing to shoot some photos this is what I intended on wearing to the lavender field it is what it is let's go I have to carry my train like a bride like this for for the photos I don't think I'm gonna put on my heels i did bring like a pair of heels just my little tony bianco heels but i don't think i'm gonna wear them i think i'm just gonna like free fall it my top is actually from h&m that i got like over two years ago maybe or last year but it ended up matching perfectly because the top that i had gotten for this it didn't fit they cut it way too short Body. Yes, this is the gallery. Look how stunning this place is. Like what? So beautiful. I don't know if I could video the church, but how cool is that? Like what? Look. But I'm giving this my outfit for lunch because it's a little cool outside. Fendi baguette. Actually, this bag is really, really cute. Um, she's cute. She's actually really, really, really cute. So I'm so glad I ended up with this one. This is it. Ready for Dinden. And of course, this beautiful. Here we go, that glorious sun that welcomes us. 
on our first day. It's back. It's here. Yesterday's sunset was in that great room, actually. It's 8 o'clock. It is way past. I wanted to like have dinner since like 7.30. As soon as the restaurant's open. Hello. Hello. Guys, apparently Pretty Prince is closed. Sunday and Monday so if you're here make sure you go there on the day that you can because it's the best food I think that we've had in Provence so far so be sure to go in but just had dinner and the next place over it was good not memorable but still good oh they're having the thingy again so cute They should just play like a Disney movie every night. <laughs> and then for dessert, I didn't have dessert at the restaurant, so I'm gonna have it here. Let's go in. It's so good here. Okay, guys, so you get a small and then they just add a bunch of flavors, which is pretty freaking good. So I'm having it, it's like six or five. Bonjour guys from Provence. Today is our last full day. Today was supposed to be the day we went to see the lavender field. But guess what? No lavender field for us because I don't know. I heard they were like harvesting them. I would have taken a chance like we would have gone anyways um, to actually see if we can see like maybe like a little patch or whatever but renting a car was so expensive it was like 200 it was over 200 dollars 222 or something for one day like one freaking day and I'm just like there's no way I would rent a car for that much money and then especially when we're not really guaranteed to actually see anything it's just outrageous to me that a car would cost that much over here but it is what it is usually they have the tours but this tours for the lavender kind of like stop after the 16 um, of July so that is something to keep in mind if you really want to see it I don't know I just feel like I'm gonna be coming to friends all the time now so I'm not worried about it I'll see the lavender field um, when it's meant to be hey, this is my breakfast look I am wearing this Frankie shop set obsessed um, in an aloe vera tank remember I got this over a year ago I feel like these things are so cute to just wear when you're on vacation for breakfast you know like very easy on a day where you don't want to wear like a dress or something it's just like the perfect thing to do and then I'm gonna take this little Fendi baguette and I think we're ready to go let's do it guys I'm back at Cafe Pelle and this must have been like the old palace or something I don't know but when I tell you this is the best tasting onion that I've ever had like it's just so flavorful so I'm having a little bit of a spread I wanted to try out of everything on the menu leave me alone bees go away and I'm having an Americano and this this is scrambled eggs it's so good this is the cafe by the way cafe Drupala it's right here so cute I love the green bee <laughs> Guess what? They have a little mall here. That's why it's good to talk to the locals sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing traveling with folks, but you have to be open to like sitting somewhere and having a conversation with like other people. Because I don't know, I've always find just like sitting somewhere, just talking to the local, always give you such great insight in like new places and new things that you didn't even know existed. She even gave me a tip on the car situation. She gave me this new website that her father used to get a car because it was so expensive also at the spot that we tried to rent. But she gave me this new website called WeCar. I'll leave all the information. I don't know, let me know if you guys would want me to do a little kind of like Provence guide. Maybe I will add it. Maybe I will do like a blog post on my like Provence. I'm gonna take my little booty to Zara instead because I'm looking for like a crochet dress. 
for uh, I mean Italy wasn't necessarily on my list but now it looks like it's very possible it looks like London would have to wait which is why I hate booking things in advance because I change my mind like crazy and it drives me crazy when someone is like we gotta book this we gotta book this because me I change my mind just on a whim so now i booked the eurostar to go to london and now i'm not even going to make it to london because in annecy is closer to italy i think i'm just gonna take the train there it's just gonna be easier to do that and then i could always get to london later it's time to go and do some exploring let me go pay for this for my breakfast and i'll take you guys along You know, every city has their own sign here it is we've been walking down here but we never actually like made it down here that's where the Zara is and all the shops and that's where the Apple store here okay so I'm gonna go into Sephora I have a couple of things in mind Apple store which is pretty cool you know if you have issues with your phone then you're good back at the square I want to attempt to do a video but the thing is it gets so windy I kind of have to worry about my camera like flying off <laughs> 14 I'm already ready for lunch Here working around. Such a beautiful day. I'm gonna go back soon. So last night in Provence. This is the outfit. This dress and the grapefruit color and the pemple no pamplemousse. Yeah. Is that cantaloupe? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Take this little bag because it goes with every freaking thing. And now I need this bag in every color because, like, why does it go with everything that I bought though? I'm not mad at it. Love. Guys, we made it to the Chateau, Chateau Lacoste. Uh, let me see, let me see. Yeah, Chateau Lacoste. And it is absolutely stunning. We are going to see the art installation, um, the art inside, the gallery closes at 7. So have an hour to see that. This is one of the arts that I came here for. Who reminds me of what we have in Chicago? It's pretty cool. Oh, it's spinning! Oh, that's so cool! <sighs> How stunning is she? She is pretty cool. But, guys, she's a masterpiece. She is so freaking cool. Look at her. Dresses. This is very gory. That means the trouble. look at this like what is in the sky like is it a rainbow that is so cool the sky kind of look a little bit <laughs> really really nice but this is the entrance when you come in you've got this massive what do you call it again spider Over here. This one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Guys, guess what? We ordered drinks according to our outfit today. We didn't even realize. Look at this. It matches my dress. Look at Dina's drink. It matches her dress. <laughs> what are you drinking? What is this drink Amaretto called? apple juice. Mm. Fancy. So one of the kids 
Merci. Bon appétit. So one of the kids that work here said that we should order this pizza. So it's literally mushroom. Put it on one side. <laughs> oh, just in case. This is like potatoes cut on top of it. That looks really good. So we'll see how it tastes. But I mean, the bread alone is already like Guys, this is the avocado salad. Please do me a favor. When you come to this restaurant, just like share like a bunch of things. Like don't even order like different things. Just like get this pizza, get the salad, and get a pasta. Because we're thinking of getting a pasta too because Guys, this pasta was just incredible. So good. So freaking delish. Highly, highly recommend. So, recommend three things. You have to get the pasta. It's absolutely ridiculously good. The sun is setting. Look how beautiful it is. Good morning, guys. Last morning in Provence. Last morning seeing this roof. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna. The wind has completely stopped, which is good. And I'm just gonna go down to the local bakery, get like a croissant. And then the market. The market sets up in the morning. Oh, the, this gelato place opens, I think, until like midnight. Or even later than that. Look at that. I'm gonna try to go to this little shop. I think it might open at like 10, but I'm gonna go to Paul, grab a croissant and a coffee. Because the thing is, I I had hope they would have little boulangeries like in the market, but they don't. But I'm gonna show you the market again. But this gelato place is so freaking good. It's right here on the Rue Maréchal Falk. And we the Claudia. I mean you can't miss this once you're here just know to come here for gelato And then Paul is here I'm gonna grab a coffee, but let me show you the The market first and then I'll head back up. Yes, so this is the market again So pretty Love. Eggs, I wish I could just like Bottle these eggs and just take them home, but unfortunately we can't right? Oh, look at the meat over there. Look at the rotisserie. I need to try the rotisserie chicken, but this lady's probably sick of me. Look at all the produce. Like, I wanted to show you guys one more time. Let me grab the coffee and croissant. This is why this is like reminds me of like Haiti so much. It's just like every morning you go to the market, right? Get the produce that you need for whatever you're gonna be cooking for the day. It's really hard for me, guys. Like the more I travel now the more i'm excited to go back home to america like it's just crazy to me how much more appreciation that i have for it now every time i travel guys i came back for these earrings look at them they're so beautiful um, look at them they're kind of like a little van cleave so if you are here in provence definitely come to the store it has really really beautiful jewelry if you're here all right guys this is the shop it's like right here and look at uh, petit point is definitely favorite restaurant in Beaumont's the best so good this is the petit point it is such a vibe here like it's such a good time come here do not go to the restaurant next door the food is not that good not this one this one guys I don't think I've ever finished like a moisturizer that fast like this is the first time ever I've finished something so quickly this is so good this is one of like my favorite moisturizers i will definitely be repurchasing this it's amazing i don't remember if i did a room tour if i didn't here it is one last look at this it's a beautiful room i would totally ask for this room again if i come back for football and staying here i actually quite like this location